Hello, welcome to this video series on financial modeling with Excel. I hope you have watched my earlier video on bond pricing. Today we are going to look into one interesting concept in bond pricing, which involves clean price and dirty price. Why do we differentiate bond price as clean and dirty? How does the difference in pricing occur? Is clean price higher than dirty price? And most importantly, how can I make use of Excel modeling to compute clean price and dirty price? We are going to seek a solution to all these questions. Stay tuned. For coupon paying bonds, a complication arises when we try to price a bond between coupon payments. This means the settlement date happens in between two coupon payment dates. No matter how the complication is, take note that the amount the buyer pays the seller is always equal to the present value of the future cash flows. If you remember this principle, you won't go wrong in bond price valuation. This diagram gives an overview of the dates. Here we have three dates, last coupon payment date, next coupon payment date, as well as settlement date. Settlement date refers to the day when the buy and sell transaction is completed. Before the settlement date, the seller is entitled to the coupon interest. After the settlement date, the interest is earned by the buyer. Days in coupon period refers to the number of days between the two coupon payment dates. Days in accrual period is the number of days from the last coupon payments until the settlement date. Let me ask you a question. Who is entitled to the interest accrual during the days in accrual period? Buyer or seller? The answer is seller. The interest earned by the seller is the interest that has accrued between the last coupon payment date and the settlement date. This interest is called accrued interest. This formula shows how the accrued interest is calculated. In this example, we are going to learn how to calculate accrued interest. The semi-annual coupon is equal to 100 times 10% divided by 2, and the answer is $5. From the last coupon day to settlement day, the seller is entitled to the accrued interest, which is calculated as shown in the working. The buyer must pay the seller the bond price plus accrued interest of $2.86. The buyer can receive the full $5 coupon interest when coupon interest is paid during the next coupon date. Read the definition of clean price and dirty price. Tell me, which one is higher, clean price or dirty price? Answer is dirty price. Why is that so? Because dirty price include accrued interest. Excel has a function to calculate clean price. The formula is equal P R I C E price. The definition and description of each input are available in Excel. The input are listed in this slide too. Excel has a comprehensive set of formula for coupon function. These formula seem to be quite similar, but you can differentiate them from the alphabets. The first three formula are used to calculate the number of days. You can see the alphabet D A Y day in the first three formula. C O U P coup stand for coupon interest. S for settlement. BS is for before settlement. S and C means from settlement day to next coupon day. NUM num 
does not refer to day, but it is the number of coupon payments available to the buyer starting from the settlement date until the maturity date. If you cannot remember the formula, do not worry. XSL can guide the user accordingly. You do not even need to memorize. I myself cannot remember, but understanding the concepts enable me to apply confidently. So can you. Do you know that one of the effective ways of learning is to draw a mind map? This is a mind map that I draw during my initial year of teaching financial modeling. I have tried ways to enhance students' understanding. The experience tells me that when students can visualize the concept and the relationships among the concepts clearly, they can learn more effectively. Formula are no longer technical jargon to them. I would encourage you to do the same. Draw a mind map to clarify your thoughts. I encourage you to explain this diagram to yourself or your classmate in simple language. Then you will have lasting impression and understanding of the whole learning process. Let's look into an example. We are going to practice with Excel. In this example, a bond with maturity date on 15 December year 2030 is purchased on 1st October 2020. The coupon interest is paid semi-annually based on the basis of one actual number of days in a year, apply the coupon function in Excel. The cells highlighted in blue are the input from the example. To make the analysis comprehensive, I will calculate using all the five Excel functions as shown here. The steps are very easy. I type equal C O U P D A Y S open bracket point the settlement date comma point the maturity date comma point the frequency frequency refers to number of coupon payments per year here we have semi annual coupon payment therefore the frequency is 2 comma point the basis basis is the type of day count basis one refers to actual number of days in a year. Close bracket, enter, and here is the answer. This means there are 183 days from the last coupon payment date to the next coupon payment date. I have repeated the data entry for the rest of the formula. The steps are the same. Here, BS stands for before settlement. They are 108 days from the last coupon payment date to the settlement date. SNC stands for settlement next coupon. This means they are 75 days from the settlement date to the next coupon payment date. NCD stands for next coupon payment date. This means the next coupon payment date is 15 December 2020. NUM here stands for number. This means there will be 21 semi-annual coupon payable to the bondholder from the settlement date to maturity date over the 10 years period. Now I wish to do a manual checking to verify the answer. Therefore, I manually type the dates here. Last coupon payment date is supposed to be 15 June 2020. Next coupon payment date is supposed to be 15 December 2020. I can check whether this answer is correct or not. I'm going to type equal next coupon payment date minus last coupon payment date enter and the value is the same as excel function i can also do a manual checking for coupon day bs i'm going to type equal settlement date 
minus last coupon payment date enter and here is the answer the answer is the same as the calculation using Excel function and I'm going to do it for the last one equal next coupon payment date minus settlement date and the answer is 75 Let's look into an example. We are going to calculate the clean price and dirty price. This example has the same information as the previous example. Just now, we have already calculated the basic information here. I'm going to calculate the semi-annual coupon interest. I'm going to type equal point the redemption value multiply with annual coupon rate of 10% then divide by 2 the frequency is 2 enter and the semi annual coupon interest is $5 next I'm going to calculate the clean price which is equal PRICE open bracket point the settlement date comma point the maturity date comma point the annual coupon rate comma point the yield to maturity comma point the redemption value comma point the frequency comma and lastly point the basis of one close bracket and the clean price of the bond is 99.97 how can I calculate accrued interest? Accrued interest is equal the semi-annual coupon interest multiplied with the number of days before settlement divided by number of days between two coupon payment days. Enter and the accrued interest is $2.95. Dirty price is equal to clean price plus accrued interest and the value is $102.92 Finally, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please practice the examples given in the Excel spreadsheet as practice makes perfect. I hope to see you again. Bye!